Hello, I'm Julie Henricks with CPM. I'm an applications engineer on the feed and industrial side. So our goal here today is to show you how to set a skip touch on a pellet mill. First, we want to make sure that we lock out and tag out the equipment before opening up the pellet mill chamber, as well as any other associated equipment. Uh, this is, looks a little bit different for every facility and it's located differently. So just make sure you review your safety precautions before doing any work. But we'll open. A uh, little bit about the pellet mill. So looking at the die cavity here. So this pellet mill, we have uh, the feed cone and then the two rolls and two deflectors, one on the top and one on the bottom. And then at the very back, we have the wipers, one on the bottom and one on the top as well. So uh, in some applications, it is easier to remove the feed cone to be able to better access and see the pellet mill rolls and any equipment in there as well as cleaning that die face. So uh, if it helps you to remove the feed cone, please do so. Just make sure you put it back on before uh, running the mill and operating it. So, uh, so if we spin this die by hand, we can see that the rolls on each side are not touching. And so what we'll do is uh, you may have to adjust the adjusting keys, these, the brass pieces right here, one on each side. Uh, the goal is that we want to end up with these and about uh, evenly spaced between these bolts. So have even amount of space on the bolts on the top and the bottom, which they're pretty close right now but we also want to get it to do the skip touch, which the skip touch is that we'll want to get each of these rolls to spin about one third of the time, uh, approximately as this die is going around. We don't want them to spin all of the time. That's called a full touch. And that is not what we want. That will cause premature wear as well as other issues potentially. So, uh, before setting the skip touch also, we want to make sure that the die face is clean. And so we're setting it on a, an even surface so we don't have any debris in there that the rolls are going to touch on and then give us a false uh, reading. So, so uh, how earlier we were talking about, we want the keyway to be in the middle in between those two bolts. Um, this one, as you can see, we're getting a little high um, away from that even, and over here, we're getting a little low. So uh, what we're going to do is to try to move these one gear tooth, sorry, over here it's better, um, and then readjust and see what that looks like. Um, so as you can see, like we were talking, um, the adjusting key here, it's a little off center. And so we'll move it and um, then adjust it. So uh, the other thing to keep in mind is that the die spins clockwise. And so we adjust the rolls counterclockwise to the die. And so, as you can see, that's why this roll, we adjust it down, and this roll, we adjust it up. Uh, if you haven't worn off the arrows on your adjusting key, which you can see that we still have the arrow faintly on there, uh, they do have arrows on them, so that helps as well to know which direction you need to go. So this one, We'll try there. So it's unfortunately a lot of trial and error on knowing where you need to go. But 
What we've found works best is to loosen the bolts as much as you can and then to adjust this adjusting key to get it so that you can move the roll so that it's touching the die slightly and then back it off a little bit and then get these bolts a little bit tighter and then try spinning the die to see what you get and then fine tune from there. Back that one off a little bit. So as you can see, this roll uh, here on the right, it is turning some, but not the whole die, which is what we want. Whereas this left roll, we got to go a little bit tighter, but not too much. A little bit tighter still. There is about where we want it. So this roll on the left, it's catching and it's spinning about a third of that diameter of that roll, like we said, as well as the right roll. So we'll tighten up these bolts and then we'll be good to go. So now we got the rolls set to what we call the skip touch. And so if we spin the die, we'll see them uh, essentially turn with the die and then skip where they won't turn at all. So we'll demonstrate that now. <laughs> so as you can see you saw both rolls uh, catch on the die and where they caught a high spot and then turn and then not turn. So we're good. Uh, if you have any questions, just please give us a call. Uh, contact us, reach out to your sales representative and we'll be able to assist you that way.